Yo guys, welcome back to another Game Boys are Awesome car boot pickup video. It's been such a long time since I last done one of these. So, yeah, I went to the car boot today and I went to two. Second one was pretty naff um, because I didn't get there a bit later on. Um, but the first one I got some cool stuff from pretty much one stall and I got a gaming item off another stall before that stall. But, yeah. I've got some more like stuff to show you guys and uh yeah sorry for the lack of uh videos recently as i said like in previous i've just been busy with other things and i've not been really in the mood to really do much videos um so yeah i've got some more like stuff to show you guys as i've not been finding anything incredible to really show you guys and i've also got some finds that i actually got on saturday um car boot i think it's uh, most of them are staying in the car still so I'll show you a few bits of that as well. Um, so yeah, so hope everyone's doing well. I really do appreciate everyone who's coming into this video and everyone who's recently subscribed and all that stuff. But I'll uh, I'll try and get a new video out very shortly. It's been so long, you know. I, I need to get one out as um yeah, it's been it's been a while. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm I'm actually working on a new copy video. I need to get those out because I'm at the point where my memory card is pretty much full. And I don't really have much room to really film much else. So I need to really start working on my new car boot videos and getting them out. Just, um, yeah, just taking my time on it. You know, doing when I feel like it, as always. Um, so, yeah, I did start a little bit last night. I'll try and do a bit more tomorrow. And hopefully maybe by the end of this, by my next week sometime, I'll have, I'll have a new one out for you guys to watch. So, yeah, thank you very much for sticking around. And let's get into what I got today. So... What order should I do it in? I'll do it in the first thing I got. I have no idea if it's going to work. Came with no cables. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like it's been opened, I don't think. I don't know. Yeah, it's not. Has it been opened? How can you tell on these? There was a screw underneath that sticker, I don't know. Under here. Yeah, it's not been opened, or maybe it had. Oh, I don't know. No, I don't think it's been opened. And we've got a super slim PS3. Sadly, it's missing the side piece because some of these don't have um, don't have a hard drive in them, and some of them do. Um, so you can get a four gig model, or you can get I think there's a five hundred gig. I'm not sure. There might be another one as well. Um, but yeah, it's one of the ones that slide open like that. So this came with. Um, Two pads that are in nice condition, and they're both the ones with rumble in them. Need a bit of a clean, but they're not bad. I've seen worse ones. Both got really nice backs on there, right, for the barcodes and stuff. If you do end up taking them CEX, so we got that, that, and some games on them as well. Um, this one needs a new case, sadly, but the disc is is not too bad. It's a couple of little bits on it, but um, as always, Simpsons hit Simpsons hit run. Simpsons uh, Simpsons game is always a good one for every any any um, any of the systems that's on. Um, are always good to pick up because for some reason this game always holds its value, and it actually is a quite a good game. I've, I remember playing it on a DS. The DS version is pretty decent, if no one knows. As well, um, so yeah, that's when I when that game came out, I had it on the DS, and yeah, I loved it. Um, another game here, which is Cars, always a, a decent pickup. For some reason, I think yeah, why is it like that? It's got the thingy inlay in it, but it's folded. But I got Cars for the PS2 as well, PS2, PS3, and I got all that for thirty pounds. So I don't know if it's going to work. If it does, what I'll do is I'll actually whack a clip in and me testing this out. You guys can see on this pickup video of it working. I'll whack it in at the end of the video so you guys can see if it um, does work or not. So we'll find out in a bit. All it needs is a little one of like everyday kind of plugs. You can find them anywhere. And then a HDMI cable or a AV for the PS2 or whatever. That will work. Um, so, yeah, fingers crossed that could work. We don't know, but it's just taking a gamble on these things, isn't it? Gamble. Um, and then I come across this other store. This guy had so much cool stuff. Really cool gaming bits. Lots of cool gaming plushies. 
Um, so the first thing I would have got from him in the order that I would have picked it up were these guys. And I don't think I have this guy. I don't know. Or maybe I do, but not in this nick. We've got a vintage um, Bulbasaur. Or no, Ivasaur. Sorry, not Bulbasaur. Ivasaur. Definitely a vintage one. Um, what did I get for the? How much did I get these for? I think they were wanted a, he wanted a quid each, so I got this one. I don't remember his. I can't remember his name, but I know he's. Um, I know he's some, you know, Digimon, but he was a quid. And then I got this guy. I don't know what his name is either, but it is, is uh, is old. This is nineteen ninety nine. Thing. I think you must have pressed it. Well, it kind of works, but I wonder what that was. I found a foot earlier. I was like, what the hell's this foot from? Um, but yeah, I got his foot still. His foot's missing, but I do have it. I wonder where it was. Early. I wonder what it was. For some reason, they must come off, which is weird. So yeah, I got him as well. But I do have his foot, so that's that's a good thing. Um, so I picked him up off him for three pounds, and he also had this game. And I said, how much is this? Star, you gave it 50p. He later looked at the disc. I wasn't bothered because I've got a disc cleaner. So um, he went and looked at the disc and said, oh, look, you know, you can have it with, the, with what I've been buying off him. Um, so, yeah, the disc is pretty scratched. But my disc cleaner will bring that back up looking awesome again. So that's good. Um, so, yeah, some reason it's a platinum case, but with the black label disc. Um, it looks like he must have paid two quid for it at some point. So that's cool. Um, so yeah, hopefully it's all good. And uh, plays pretty decently. So we'll get that working again. Next, I found uh, from this guy. I got all that for 50p, I think. I don't know, I don't know other figures in my bag, I think, still. Um, I got him in a bundle for 50p. He's a vintage uh, Pikachu. Does something I don't know what, but he does something. Um, and also, I found one of these guys. I have one of these, and I sold mine back in lockdown time, or back last year sometime. On um, was it might have been last year? Was it the year before? I don't know. I I sold it sometime last year, I think, or the 2020 um, when Pokemon was going mental again. I put mine on eBay. I think I got like 30 quid for mine. So. I found another one on the car boot for two pounds, so he's gonna be replaced. And uh, I'll just whack him back in the collection again because I saw my other one, and now I've got another one back for free for two quid. So, yeah, very, very pleased to find another one again. Um, and for the price I paid, I was very happy with that. So, that is beast. Um, so what else did I get in this car boot? Oh, yes, I found these from this guy as well some anime kind of like movies i paid eight eight quid for this um i got a really nice steel book of um scott um that um scott pilgrim really good film if no one's seen this um and it's quite nice inside uh, and on the back of it it's got that but I got that I never, I've never uh, had a blu-ray of him before so not bad for a blu-ray steelbook um, I don't know what it would normally go for but he's asking three quid each on these um, he wanted a quid for this one I've never seen this some kind of anime and animes can be good at good for trading in and stuff like that so I don't know I've not even looked this up yet so yeah I'll look it up in a bit uh, that was a pound from the same guy and he also had this one he wanted five quid for this one um all in there all complete i've watched one of these before but i've not watched this one i don't think unless it's a different one so it's making a weird noise um yeah i don't think i've seen this one making a weird noise by itself um so i got this guy you want a five quid for that said to him would you take 
eight quid for the t for the three of them and he said yes so i got them for eight quid the time i go there when i have hardly any money on me i want to change i hate it when it happens that was what's happening today i kept on going and finding stuff like i'm saying have you got any are you change or like oh some people are saying no but luckily i got some stuff with the stuff i found uh went back round again after doing that car boot and i found these games, they were a quid each. Escape free, one of my favourite games. And then this one's always a good trade in the pink. So that's all right. As well, when I went back round again, I found this game. I've never seen this on a PS1 before. I don't know what it's like. Sadly, it's missing the inlay, but it's the case and the inlay is missing, but I've never seen this game before. So I thought I'd grab that one to see what the most plays like. And these are the resting figures I got for 50p. So we've got, I don't remember his name, but it's, oh, it looks like his nose is a bit off, but don't remember his name, but vintage Pokemon there. This guy as well. Oh no, dropping him. Um, Jolteon, I think that's Jolteon, get it right. And then there's his foot, that his foot. Put his foot back on here. How the hell's that come out? There we go. Back in, in there like it never was gone before. So that's good. And then we've got, what's his name? Oh. Shows I've not really been into Pokemon as much as I people who you know I, I don't remember his name now Growdiff Growdiff is it Growd I don't know um I'm, 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 I've forgotten loads of names of Pokemon I still like Pokemon like the old Poke, like Poke Pikachu and stuff like that um, but I'm not always following Pokemon and I know that's a vintage one and I've forgotten his name it's gonna kick me in the head later and I'll be like kick me in the head I know what I'm about but it's gonna Someone's going to be in the comments. I can't believe you don't know that one. Like, yeah, because I just forget. Um, once I see the Pokemon card, I'm like, oh yeah, I remember now. But I know it's I know it's from the early from the early Pokemon's. So that is not what I got. That's not everything I got. I got this as well. Um, got this. I used to have one of these uh, as a kid, and. Yeah, I think my granddad got me this one of these as a kid. I, I, I thought it was well good. You basically got to try and get the ball all around the maze and, he, and you're being timed. Uh, which actually is working. This is why I got it. Um, how do I start it? Apparently, it, it, the light's on, but no one's home. No, the light's on, but it's not actually like... It's coming on here. But maybe I know what you're doing. You've got to get the ball onto the start first, and then you can press. Oh, you, you, what are you doing, man? So you get the ball in there, and try and get it to work. But I think it needs new batteries, or oh, it's frozen or something. But yeah, it comes up with a little timer there. And you got to get the whole ball around the maze and get back to the finish. Um, yeah, and it's got this annoying music going off as well, going did it, did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. It's it's really annoying. Um, but this is from 2002, so yeah, I would have got it one of these when I was about 12, 13, probably. Oh, I actually thought it was pretty decent. Um, oh yeah, I also got this from that car beat as well. I found this. I paid two quid. Not really worth it, but yeah, got it. And then I went to another car boot after this one, which I'm still at now. Um, and I found one item. Oh, did I? Yeah, one item. Oh, there's more items I forgot I've showed you. I got figure galore today, figure galore. And I got more Pokemon figures in here. So I got these for 20p, Charizard and this guy. These were a quid each from someone else. A nice, uh, um, nice Yoshi, and a really nice. Oh, what are these called? Oh, I've forgotten the name. I'm, I'm my 
it's too early today. Oh, what is his name? I think his name is Shy Guy, is it? So I've got one of those, the Shy Guy, and him, and this guy, and they were a quid each, so that wasn't too bad. And then I found this at the second car boot that I was on about. I'm here right now do, doing the video. Um, picked up a copy of Ben 10 Power Trip. Um, yeah, this was £2. I had to go and run off and get some change because she didn't have any change. Um, so luckily she held it for me. And I got this for two quid, and it trades into CEX for £6. So that's all right. Um... And now I'm going to show you some stuff I got yesterday at the car boot, which is left in the car still. Um, so I didn't really do that great. I got a few bits here. I got these for two quid each. These are from, yeah, from Saturday's car boot. Two quid each. Um, which is mad. I found two copies of... I found this yesterday as well. So both black, platinum. Um, so I've got Crash Bandicoot on there, that was a pound as well yesterday. I found this. This is a, I'm gonna I might keep this for a bit and then maybe get rid of it as I'm not really into Transformers. But this I got this. Um this is basically a remaster version or the bit remake of um Tiger Tiger Electronic handhelds, um like L C D games, and I found this for 150. Um, which is pretty cool. I've I've not come across one of these yet at the boot sale, and it's the first time finding one. And that is a 2020 um, release of the Tiger Electronic handhelds or Tiger games were were pretty sh bad at the time. They weren't the greatest, but they were, you know, you enjoyed them and, you know, it's like, it was, yeah, they were good. Like, they weren't the greatest, but they were fun to spit about on. But you might want to see the date on it. You might want to see the year. Come on, focus and let everyone see that it's on 2022. But you can't see it because it doesn't want to do it. Yeah, you might be able to see it. Just there, it says 2022. And it's the new release version. And it does work. You press... Uh, and we'll see. See? It's doing all its stuff. So... That was cool for 150. Never seen one of them before at the boot sale yet, and I found one, so that's cool. Um, as everyone knows, I like picking up cameras. This was a pound, no think with it. Um, I've had this exact one before, and it went for some crazy money. So I don't know if this is a work, I'm going to set it as untested and see what happens, but that was a pound. Um, yeah, so that's awesome. Hopefully, it will go and someone might make use of it. Um, so that was awesome. Well, it's not awesome, but it's something. And that is pretty much my pickups of it. Oh, yeah, I found this a bit random. I don't normally pick up Playmobil stuff, but it was sealed and it was a pound. Don't know what it's worth. I think I did look it up yesterday when I was on my phone quick and I think it was like 10 or something on eBay but yeah so there we go that's my haul today guys hope you guys have liked it thank you very much for watching the video um I'm gonna try as I said get a new video out soon of car boot hunting and I'm gonna try and really try and get myself to get some out because I, I need to get them out I'm always going car boot still I love it um I, I need to really start getting some out as I haven't really got much room on my memory card to keep just leaving them there to sit. So, yeah, thank you very much to everyone who's recently subscribed. Thank you to everyone who's been watching. Thank you for all the likes and comments. Um, and it, yeah, and everyone who's been bumping into me at the boot sales again. Thank you for coming and saying hi. It's been uh, it's been nice. And yeah, thank you very much. See you guys later and have a lovely day. Bye. So right, guys, I'm going to test this out. I'm going to see if it works. I've got the PS3 here. The power cables behind it. Do we have any light come on there? We have a, a light here. Um, HDMI goes in there. And we'll press power on.
see what happens. I'll get myself a game quick. Got a game here. Make sure it's plugged in properly. Yes, we have we have a screen on. Let's see if this will, this will read this. Let's get a PS. Well, I have a control zero. So I'm gonna No juice in that, but I should have a cable to put on charge now. Give us one second, I get actually got one here I could use, I think. Does that work? Yeah. Plug this in here. Should do. Put that in there. Put that in there. It's doing something. It's connected. Yep. So that's good. So we've got the controller connected. Do you want to read the screen? No. Right, we'll go to the game. Seems to be working. I just had no idea. I wasn't sure. You know, no cables. Error. So I need to start playing. Use an another Blu-ray disc, such as a check. Whoa! Here we go. It could be what's wrong with it. Let's try again. Come on. It's waiting as the game. <clears throat> That's loading up. Is it going to work this time? Error. I'll try another game. That one doesn't want to work. Let me try the other game that they have with it. That was... Um, try this one. This is big gamble this was, but I know I can get the money back on the games if the disc doesn't if it doesn't read them. Ah it's reading this one. So why is this one not working? Looks strange. Pretty clean as well.
I don't know if it's just in this how or no. It is. It's how. So this game is working. So it's reading games. See if I actually get into the main game with it. For some reason, this one's not working. It's, it's pretty. There's a few odd scratches, but it's not even that bad. Simpsons Home Run. Simpsons Home Run. Simpsons game. Start. Any load game from before? Please do. Yeah, but someone's gaming it, so they go load that up. So we don't have to. Coming. So we go story. See if it loads up. And then we'll try out Simpsons again. I'll give it a little bit of polish. Yeah, so I'm sniffing a bit. I've grown, got a bit of a cold. I think there's a cold going around. It's not, definitely not COVID. So, card is running. Very noisy though. Just sort of struggling to read it, it seems like. But. Taking a while. Is it going to get me in the game? What's going on? That works. Quick game. that one out but this one's disgusting this one so why is this one not working this one all right we'll try that again it can read that game fine but not this not if that one doesn't work i'll try out skate free see if that works Another error again, this is weird. So, doesn't like that game, let's try this one out. This is where this is like clean as hell. This one doesn't work, I don't know what we are, except for that one game which is cars. There is not enough available space to create a. Yeah, so it needs a, It does work then, it must be. It needs a hard drive in it, which it hasn't got. Um, so, yeah, I think that's still a good sign. I think this needs to have it, has a hard drive, it hasn't got one, it's only got 4D memory in it. Minute. So, yeah, that's, that's good, I'm pleased. Um, for that price, you just find a new plat back bit, uh, the cover bit for it, and it should be all good. So yeah, not a bad little find for uh, twenty two pounds, which actually actually accidentally said it was thirty quid, but actually it was twenty two pounds with the games and the controllers. So yeah, pretty awesome. So thanks for watching, and have a lovely day.